Hey Boomstick please, this is your video, well this is going to be a video response for your 10 films of the afterlife. Um, I really liked your video, I thought you had some really good choices and I hope you enjoyed my choices and some of the things I'm going to say about them. So uh, let's get started. <clears throat> the first one I'm going to talk about, well it's going to count as one, but I would have to, this was actually kind of hard for me because I, Michael Myers and Jason are my two favorite horror slasher icons so it's kind of hard but since the, I went with the Halloween series just because it has my favorite woman in it I love Jamie Lee Curtis I've loved her since I was a kid and I think this is an overall a great series um, it was this or Jason so I went ahead with the Halloween series so take all those with me except for Rob Zombie's remake I don't that doesn't need to come with me uh, the next one um, it's not a movie I watch a lot, but when I heard you talk about it, it is a movie that I've always liked since I've seen it. And if you check out on my Doug86 page, um, that was my original profile, um, but now it's our random films profile with all our short films and stuff. But it's like one of the very first videos, so you have to kind of go through them. But um, it's the Matthew Shepard uh, tribute video I made. I uh, did it in high school. So uh, definitely check that out. But uh, I picked The Laramie Project. Um, it is a very sad movie, and it's a very good play. I wish I could see the play, but this, you know, I've read enough about the play to know this is a good movie off of it. Um, but uh, The Laramie Project. <clears throat> um, like you said, this one is campy fun, and it actually is scary. And there you could tell that there is a lot of love uh, with Sam Raimi and the cast in the, um, the trilogy. But um, I'm just going to pick the first one, too, like you did, because um, this one is my favorite. The second one, like you said, it is more of a comedy. And the third one, I've never really been... I have them all, but I've never really been big on the third one. But one and two are my two faves. But, um, yeah, this is the, uh, the newest edition they put out. I don't know if you've seen this one. It's big. <laughs> but it's got a lot of good features, and this thing would keep me a... Um, up for long hours. Uh, I mean, it's three discs, tons of special features on one of my favorite horror movies. Um, this one, it was kind of hard because anyone that knows me loves musicals, and this isn't a musical, but it was down to this or one of my favorite musicals, and I went ahead with this just because I watched this last night with some friends, hadn't seen it. Uh, my buddy Brian told me how great it was. But it's Evan Rachel Wood and James Wood in Pretty Persuasion. If you haven't seen this, Boomstick, you need to check this out. Um, I picked this out because this movie, its I guess it could uh, go for the little devil in all of us. Uh, Evan Rachel Wood is excellent in this movie. So this is one reason I picked this. So Pretty Persuasion, um, definitely check it out if you haven't seen it. Uh, the next series I would take with me to the afterlife, obviously, since it's, you know, we're dead and this would go well. George Romero's original trilogy. So, Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, and Day of the Dead. So, um, what, what would be better than a zombie movie after you're dead? So, I went ahead with that one. Um, one of my favorite films, uh, I've loved it since the first time I've seen it. Um, it's my favorite high school movie. Um... I don't know, I've just always loved it. And I know that there's a lot of other people that love it too, but John Hughes, Breakfast Club. So, um, I'm sure a lot of people have seen this, they know all about it, so. The Breakfast Club. <clears throat> uh, my next one is going to be the Psycho franchise, because I think it's one of the best franchises, in my opinion. Uh, the first one's obviously the best. Two was good, and then four was excellent. I thought it was a um, a really good prequel. It kind of, I mean, it is set after the other movies, but it does do a lot of flashbacks and talks about his past as a kid and stuff. So, I really do enjoy this series, it's the Psycho series, and Alfred Hitchcock is a genius with the first movie. <clears throat> um, the next one, uh, like you said, it's another campy, cheesy, funny horror movie. The first one's more horror, but it does have a lot of comedy elements. Two and three just became a little more, kind of like Evil Dead did. Just got, uh, you know, after the first one, kind of goes downhill and gets a little more funnier and funnier, but um, the Slumber Party Massacre series, the first one's obviously my favorite, um, but I just wanted to show you this, these because here they are. 
And I told you in a comment, I think, that I have them all. And I got them at Suncoast for like 15 bucks each when they came out. But uh, I would definitely take these with me. Uh, the first one's the best, in my opinion. But two and three are a lot of fun. So, um, I would take my uh, favorite Tim Burton film with me, which is Johnny Depp and Winona Ryder in Edward Scissorhands. Um, I do have the DVD, or I do have the Blu-ray, but I just want to show off this tin because it's big and nice, and you know. So, um, <laughs> I just wanted to show this off. So, um, but yeah, I would take Edward Scissorhands with me. I think it's a beautiful film. Um, it's really well acted. Uh, it probably has Danny Elfman's best score that he's ever done in his career, in my opinion, of course. Um, but overall, I've loved this movie since I was a kid. It's um, a fairy tale slash fable, I guess is what you would call this. Um, if anyone hasn't seen this, definitely check it out. It's a uh, essential for any Tim Burton fan. or Really, um, I think it's a movie that could go in anyone's um, you know, collection. So uh, definitely check this out. And then the last one is probably... You know, the number one dead film, comedy dead film. Um, so, I mean, I don't know. This is just an essential in my eyes if you're dead and, you know, you had ten films to watch over and over and over. Uh, say his name once, say his name twice. Uh, his third, third time's a charm. Sorry, I said that all wrong. But anyway, some of y'all might know what I'm talking about. Beetlejuice. So, um, I mean, there's not a lot of, I mean, I could go on and on about this movie. Um, it's a, my second favorite, I'd say, of the Tim Burton films. Um, you know, Gina Davis, Winona Ryder, Alec Baldwin, Michael Keaton, Catherine O'Hare. Can you go wrong with the cast? No. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I just want to show this one off just because it's the number one dead comedy film, in my opinion. I mean, or ghost comedy. Um, but, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little video response. And I uh, hope you like my picks, and I will hope to see other people respond to this. So anyone that's watching this now, please do a video response. It would be really cool. Um, I know Boomstick Please really wants to see some more uh, people see it. And if you don't want to do a video, that's cool. Um, just go ahead and leave your comments down below. And uh, Boomstick, I will talk to you soon.